While the state of Dead Horse Lake is alarming, we can be assured that a new era of environmental stewardship will restore order to our treasured wild places. <laughs> right. to decimate its prey.
The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Fawtick Bayou has long been a favorite go-to spot for catfishing. Nowhere is the irreversible degradation of the natural environment more on display than Dead Horse Lake. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. We 
appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Artists spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. to sharks as the hounds of the sea, and this one is certainly living up to its reputation.
quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. Until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie-seeking snorkelers. The man-eater's longevity depends on her nimbleness.
shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Shark versus dolphin, orca versus giant squid, boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. The threats to our ocean seem overwhelming. But by working together now, we can ensure that future generations always have a place to dump their old tires. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus.
Brain real estate is dedicated to smell. in pursuit of a dangerous shark. Those closest to them prepare for the possibility that they might come home. Scourge of the Swampland, by you with Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. Attack man whenever and wherever the two shall meet. Bracelet alarms fills the air as shark hunters leave their homes to track our bullshit.
ensure the safety of the public, a bounty has been placed on the fugitive shark. The bartender life in Bobby Bojangles. Boats on the water. We got a shark that needs putting down. Despite increased aerial surveillance, confidence amongst tourists and locals alike is far from good. Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. I'd like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program.
While most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips, in real life the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Catfish is easily distinguished from other species by their smooth, scaleless bodies and signature whiskers. The shark, perhaps having gone too far with her pranks and hijinks, is now the subject of a county-wide shark hunt. You're a dead horse
It took weeks for our crew to earn the shark eyes trust, to convince them we were not insurance investigators. <laughs> the Barracuda frequents the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food.
Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection.
catfish have specialized taste buds all over their bodies, so they know that you're the one that peed in the water. Just how much your slippery costs.
Gruber have made a home near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. to see these majestic animals in their native state. Department of Health and Human Services advises against eating barracuda, so it's good that this shark knows its source.
I don't know what that is. Maybe a rainbow trout? Places see more human fatalities caused by giant catfish than sharks, such as the Amazon Basin or Splash Mania Water Park in Garland, Texas.
are forced to post bail, shrug off last night's hangover so they can take to the one. The Savage Shrimper, Pookie Paul. are getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature. An intensive shark hunt is now underway. Shark assignment on dead horse lane.
bad way today. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Jones. Regular there from Mingo Joe's. He was saying it's a tourist train. But it's the only plank to get a decent Cesarek that don't have me on there. Do not serve me. Probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds.
their prey, fully aware of the grisly horrors that await them upon a single misstep. The Fishing Phenom, Candyman Curtis. Shark's reckless behavior only further incenses for Clovis' citizens.
Port Clovis retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. Hold out on Dead Horse Lake. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. New bounty, boys. Let's roll out. The battle is over, but the war goes on. The shark's brain real estate is dedicated to smell. at the entrance of the shark's nostrils allow her to identify some sharks or scavengers who discriminate consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Vibrant, brightly hued ocean world becomes a bloodbath.
yet to devise a reliable method for the protection of humans against shark attacks. I mean, I'm not an ornithologist, but I think it's probably a bad idea to get in the middle of the new cycles. Just saying. Attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. The Needle Tooth Nightmare, the Barracuda. recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection.
dragons, even sharks, just need to dirty Like shape of the Barracuda is instantly recognizable and unmistakably phallic. In the dark and mysterious wilderness of the sea, this gory encounter is hardly unique. Dead Horse Lake should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up a monument. Guess you gotta be the best at something.
Bubba Fondo and the Barracuda Boys were voted Port Clovis' best party band three years running. Curiously, none of the boys are actually Barracuda. Handyman special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. Call Demo. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Another danger on the water for shark hunters? Determined process servers. Their boats laden with bench warrants and affidavits. Fishermen say the shark that killed you is the one you don't see, but sometimes you do see it, and it's hard.
It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. For now. of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty theft. Wildlife management has never been a priority in Port Clovis, and so amateur hour begins. Nice shark hunters. Got another shark situation. All I see is water. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. That whole place should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up a monument. It's gotta be the best at something. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. He got two can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> Must 
just get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to have my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that job. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. Hunters return to their normal routine. Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. 
Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals.